this is quite a view. There's your magical moment for today. Today is the first day of my Wisconsin State Park adventure. I am at Wyalusing State Park. Uh, it's on the southwest part of the state. It's uh, near Prairie du Chien, and it is a gorgeous, beautiful state park. Where I just got here, I got my tent all set up in the back. Um, I got a big tent for myself uh, because I, I want just enough space to like have everything in it. And I've got a pretty big air mattress. Um, and I'm running all of that off of a uh, solar generator. So I've got a bunch of different electronic things with me so I can keep connected and make some videos. The first day I'm here, it's kind of chilly. It's in the mid 60s and it's overcast. And I got here about three o'clock. It took me about an hour to set up the tent and the air mattress and everything. I looked around the, the park a bit to uh, see where to go hiking and where are all the, the points of interest and stuff like that. I bought some firewood. I'm um, gonna make a fire here and after dinner. I'm pretty excited. I've got my plain air kit and all my paints. I'm gonna try and do a, a painting at every state park. This is just the first one. I'm gonna be in Wisconsin state parks for the next two months. So today is June 11th and I'm gonna be um, traveling around Wisconsin until August 13th. And I'm gonna be going about in a circle. So I started, you know, I live outside of La Crosse Wisconsin. It's about an hour and 45 minute drive down to Wyalusing here. And then from here I'll go east and then go up and then back around. So I'm pretty excited. This is going to be a very interesting trip. I didn't have anything on my schedule this summer. I have a teaching opportunity lined up in September. So I have to be back in lacrosse at about the end of August. But I had nothing else on my plate, so I was like, let's go out and make some art out in the state parks of Wisconsin. There is only one state park in Wisconsin I ever camped at in my lifetime, and I haven't been camping in about 20 years. So this is going to be a brand new experience for me, and everything is going to be exciting and strange and scary all at the same time. So I'm really excited for it. So I hope you uh, follow along with me. So I'm going to get uh, some dinner in me and later I'm going to make a campfire. So I'm not going to go out and uh, go hiking today. Like it was enough to get down here and get set up and everything. And so I want to kind of take it easy on my first day. And like, like I said, I'm going to be uh, out camping for two months. So I want to take the first day a little easy and just get everything set up, get accustomed to this kind of lifestyle that I'm going to be living for the next two months. Um, but I got a nice comfy chair. I got a beautiful tent with a beautiful bed, nice uh, fire pit there. And the campsites here are nice and secluded. They're very private. I'm on the south part of the campground. There's another part on the north side, which isn't as secluded, but you have a better view. But I'm just going to walk up to that part or drive up to that part where I can hike and we'll check that out probably tomorrow. Day two here in Wyalusing and day two of my trip. It was very cold last night. I think it got down to about 44 degrees and I was in my sleeping bag, like just cuddled, like huddled underneath everything. I had it pulled up way over my head and I slept pretty well though. I mean, I didn't get to sleep till maybe like one in the morning, but I slept till about eight this morning. Just had to get up, you know, to use the bathroom. Um, but I slept pretty well. It's a beautiful day today. It's only supposed to be like in the low 70s today. So I'm gonna take today and wander around the park. I'm gonna go hiking on some of the trails and stuff. Start looking for a good place to paint. Last night before uh, it got dark, right at sunset actually, I went to the lookout point, which is on the north side of the campground, and I took some photographs, and you know, here I'll show them right now. 
some of them came out pretty well, some not so well. That's the way photography works, you know. It's a beautiful spot, so I might go and paint up there, but I'm not really sure. But I think I'm going to hold off on painting until tomorrow because I really want to go out and explore all the trails around here and make sure I'm finding like a really good spot uh, before I set up my easel and really get into painting. And it's supposed to be a bit warmer tomorrow, so I'd rather be um, more active today so I can get out and explore and go hiking and check out all the trails. Last night was great though. It, Even though it was really cold, it was amazing. It was really weird too. I was sitting by the fire playing my switch and I see something out of the corner of my eye. And I'm like, what's that? And I look over and right next to me, maybe like a foot away from me is a raccoon just sitting there staring at me. He scared me to half to death. I just looked at him, I'm like, ah! <laughs> and, like, and then he bolted into the woods. But I could hear him all night just in the woods here, just rustling around. Uh, my brother had warned me about the raccoons in this park, so I've kept all my food either in my cooler or in my car. I don't know like if the raccoons can get into my cooler. They'd have to be pretty smart. So I'm pretty safe on that, but I'm sure like with all the families that are around here, like the raccoons are going to be fed really well this week. So yeah, I'm going to go and do some hiking. Uh, hopefully I can get some good shots of that, get some good video of that. We'll see where else the day takes me. This is quite a view. It looks amazing out here. I hiked all the way down over that way through the ridge trail, but of course the camera didn't catch everything. So I think I found a workaround. So I'm going to head back on that trail again and uh, try and record it again, see how that looks. But oh my goodness, this is amazing. You can see all the way across the river onto the bluffs. It is just gorgeous out here. It is a beautiful day. I couldn't ask for it to be any better than this. So I'm going to head back on the trail. We're going to see if the camera records. Hopefully it does. She's been trailing me. I just heard something behind me turned around and there she was right on the trail. I can still see her up there. You probably can't see her, but she's still up there in the woods somewhere. I saw her earlier on my way in. She was off on the right side over, over this way and she went across and then I come back and she's right on the trail. She's investigating me. Are you curious, girl? Well, have a nice day. It's a beautiful one.
Achoo. So we just did this trail here, the Mississippi Ridge Trail over there, 1.8 miles. I want to go and I want to check out this area over here and I want to see these things over here. So I'm going to try and head over there as long as uh, the camera battery holds out. Sorry for the poor audio guys mowing the lawn. Um, imagine they have to do it. It is a Monday, probably the best day to do it. But yeah, we're going to try and go back over here. I'm camped up here on the top circle of the homestead campground. So I'm going to go over around this way and then probably head back to the camera uh, campsite and I'll probably have to uh, charge the camera battery again. So let's go over there and see what's over there. Pictured rock cave, we have to go see that. That's fine. Yeah, it's not that far. Coming back up is a bit of a hike, okay. right. but going down is pretty easy. Is it worth the work though? It's a cave with a tiny little stream that goes over it. Okay. So it is kind of cool, but it doesn't loop back around like I thought it did on the map. Okay. So you and just got to go out there. How far would you say it is to the cave? A quarter mile. A quarter mile. It's not that far. Okay. Like Wait. a couple minutes, but. Like I said, it was just coming back because you got to come up that hill oh. and it's all kind of steep. That's why I'm a little out of breath. Yeah, sure. No, it's just like the whole way back up is uphill. But yeah, you take your time. It'll be fine. But yep.
Hello. I'm out here right on the bank of the Mississippi. Uh, it's a little windy now. There's a train going by. I got over the train tracks just as the, um, just before the trains got here. And it's still going by. I've been here a good few minutes. The way that the map looks, I'm not going to be able to just walk back a different way. I've got to hike back on the same trail. Or I've got to go up the Ridgeway Trail or the Ridge Trail and then loop all the way back around. Which I don't really feel like doing that today. Maybe uh, tomorrow I'll take that hike or something. But this might be a good spot to paint though. Like everything looks really pretty over here. It's a lot of, a lot of uh, open area here. It looks pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to chill out here for a little while and then probably hike back the same way I came down. Um, it's still pretty nice out today. It's only like low 70s, so it's not too bad, but I'm sweating. Um, I think I've maybe hiked like a good six miles maybe already. So um, heading back to the campsite and uh, I might just relax for a few hours then after that. So uh, we'll hike on back and check out the sites from there. But for now, let's just look at the beautiful scenery out here on the Mississippi. Guy out there fishing. And you can rent a kayak over here. So I might do that on like one of the days where it's a little bit hotter. It's supposed to be in the 80s, like in a couple days. So I might get the kayak then and then go out on the river for a little bit. We'll see. It's a beautiful rainy morning. So it's day three today and it rained most of the night and into the morning. Uh, I rained till about eight, eight thirty this morning. Um, so I really didn't get up very early. Well, I got up early. I just laid in the tent listening to the rain for, geez, almost two hours, waiting for the rain to stop so I could go take a shower and eat breakfast. And so I didn't really get around very early this morning. And after hiking 10 miles yesterday, you know, the universe might be telling me to just kind of take it easy today. I... I'm teaching a class in the fall that I need to read the textbook for. I was planning to do a majority of it over the summer. So I might work on that today. Just go up to uh, the north side of the area and find a little shelter and just sit down and read and take it easy today. I might go hiking. It really depends if it dries out or not. Um, it's supposed to rain again here in a little bit. And you can kind of hear little sprinkles every once in a while. So 
I don't know, maybe I'll go hiking. I really don't want to be hiking out on wet trails that I don't know. And I'm going to be here for another, let's see, today's Tuesday and I'm going to be here till Saturday. So I've got like a good three, three and a half days still after this to kind of relax. This is going to be the longest stay of anywhere that I'm staying in the next two months. So I might just take it easy today and relax and just kind of, like I said, read and chill out a bit. It really depends on the weather. If it clears up and things dry out this afternoon, I might go hiking just for a little bit because there's a lot of trails I still haven't gone on. We'll see. See how it goes. But I definitely should not have left this chair sitting outside because it is super wet and I've been sitting in it. And now my butt is completely wet. So that wasn't smart. Well, I couldn't resist. I had to come out and do at least one trail. This is one of the smaller ones, the sand cave trail. There's supposed to be two sand caves back here, a large one and a small one. So I'm gonna go back and check it out. Well, this is pretty cool. So this is the big sand cave. Uh, I wanted to put on the microphone so you could really get a sense of the, the sounds that are here. I just love listening to that water just fall. And I can't even tell like where it goes after this. It just kind of ends in the cave. It doesn't seem to go anywhere. It's all dried up like over on that side. So I don't really know where the water goes. Um, or even why it like comes down here. Maybe it's just from the rain last night. I'm not really sure, but this place is really cool. Um, just sitting here listening to the sound just reverberate through the cave. Pretty neat stuff. So, I'm going to hike around and try and find the small cave. I'll have to look on my map to see where that was, or maybe I've missed it or went the wrong way to see the smaller cave. But definitely, if you're in this part, come to the big cave. The big cave is cool. It was a pretty easy hike. It was only about 15 minutes to get out here. 
Um, so it's there's a couple spots where the the trails washed away a little bit. So you know it's definitely not like handicap friendly or anything accessible like that. But you know you take your time and you can walk through it pretty easily. Oh no! Sorry. Oh, sorry. Hi. It's all good. I don't know. This cave might be cooler than the big one. It's got more water and the water goes somewhere. Not exactly sure why they call this the small one. It looks about the same as the big one, but... Who am I to judge? Ah, it's very cool. Well, I'm gonna chill out here for a minute. So my brother told me to come out to the prairie here 
to check out the fireflies. It's about 40 minutes since sundown. The sky looks a lot darker on the phone here than it does in real life. It's actually pretty dark out. And the fireflies are just going crazy. They're all over this prairie here. This is the prairie trail. So if you go just on the prairie trail right at around dusk or a little bit after dusk, you can just see fireflies everywhere. So cool, it's like fireworks. There's your magical moment for today. You're so cool, and with my star, we're gonna rule. Each understand, I'm gonna love you till the very end. <laughs> Thousand troops of Coopers couldn't keep me from you. Princess Coopers, till the end of the line, I'll make you mine. Peaches, 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 I love you. Today is day five of my trip and day five at Wyalusing. I painted all yesterday. Plain air painting takes a while to get set up and a while to tear down and the painting itself took me about five hours so it was basically from nine to four I was painting or working on painting or setting up or whatever. Um, so I didn't do like an update in the morning because I knew like the whole day was just going to be painting. And here's what the painting looks like. I think it came out pretty well. Of course, there's always room for improvement. And it had been almost 20 years since I'd done any plain air painting. So... I think, you know, I'm just going to get better and better as the time goes on. I keep practicing, but I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think I'm going to do another painting either later today or tomorrow. I haven't really decided when yet, but today I'm definitely taking it easy. I'm pretty worn out from yesterday and from hiking over the past few days. And the air quality today is in the unhealthy area or very close to it and I can feel it like in my sinuses and in my throat so I'm not going to do like any major amount of hiking uh there's 
a lot of the Native American mounds that I haven't gone and seen yet. So I'm going to do that this morning. I'm going to go check those out. And then this afternoon, I think I might go into town, go into Prairie du Chien, and I've got to get some more groceries. But I think I might just go see a movie, get out of the poor air quality for a while, and just relax. So there isn't going to be, like, too much excitement today. but you know, it is vacation, so there's no reason to rush or do anything. I put on myself a lot of expectations that nobody else does, and part of this trip is about me reconnecting with myself and trying to realize where I catch myself or where I make pretty big mistakes in my personality, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to explain. And I know you don't care. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Just relax a bit. Oh, yeah. See, I could feel it right there. The, the smoke from the wildfires is coming down. Canada has just like wildfires almost all over Canada right now. And then, of course, it's all coming down into Minnesota and Wisconsin, um, like it always does. So, hopefully that stuff will clear up uh, by tonight or tomorrow. And, uh, you know, tomorrow I'll go out and do a little more hiking. I might do, like, a small trail this afternoon. I'm definitely not going to be exerting myself because I, you know... I am sensitive to this stuff, and yeah, I don't want to make it worse. So I came into town, into Prairie du Chien, which is the biggest town near Wailusing. It's a town of about 5,500 people, and just kind of explored the town a little bit, drove around. It's not very big, so it didn't take too long, um, but it is nice and cute and quaint. Um, this is Lawler Park. Uh, right on the river. I'm not sure if this is the Wisconsin River or the Mississippi. Um, I know we're right near where they converge. And then from up on the lookout point in Wyalusing, you can see that bridge, that blue bridge. I remember seeing it. They're gearing up for a celebration for the Marquette and Joliet uh, expedition. It was the 350th anniversary of the expedition. And so there's a bunch of uh, tents and stuff getting set up over there. I think it doesn't start until tomorrow. So maybe I'll come back tomorrow and check it out. I'm not sure. I haven't really planned out what I'm going to do tomorrow. But it is all this weekend. But I had to come down and check out this park. Um, just because it's right on the river. It reminds me a lot of Riverside Park in La Crosse where I grew up. And it's just gorgeous. So I came down here to check it out. Thought I'd uh, share the view. You can see out there it's still really hazy. Um, the air quality has gotten better today. Uh, maybe by about like 20 points, it went from like 150 something down to like 130, but it's still really hazy and the smoke is really bad. Uh, there's a trail here that just goes along the bluff, I think, and goes back around. It's supposed to come back over to where the point is, the lookout point is. The north part of the campground is up here. Um, I'm kind of glad I'm in the south. I mean, there's some spots on the north side where, like, the view is just beautiful. But otherwise, like, most of the campsites are really close together and you don't really have a lot of privacy. Whereas, like, my campsite has a lot of privacy, like, on the south side. Um, but you're kind of far away from all of the real points of interest. So, you know, it's a trade-off. But we're going to go down this, uh, the bluff trail not the old immigrant trail the old immigrant trail i think goes back that way over to like where the uh where the entrance to the 
campground is the north part of the campground. I just wanted to wait for those other people to go. They looked like they were taking their time, so I didn't want to rush them. You know where you're going? No idea. <laughs> we were hoping you did. <laughs> I don't think this goes anywhere. And we're back here. So hazy. It's even worse than yesterday. I can't even see the bridge over there. That's where the park is. Down that way. Over there. I can't even see it today. Good yesterday, but not very well. Got to see a little bit of the train that goes by there. And you can just see, uh, hopefully you can see off in the distance, the bridge I was talking about earlier. It's way over there. You can just barely see it now. Hopefully this uh, wildfire smoke doesn't become a annual thing. This right here is where we are. Actually, I think it's more like right here or something.
When you walk into this place, you can already tell that it's really special. You can almost feel the power in the land here, how important it is. All of these are mounds, all of this, all of this wooded area, or not wooded, but brushed area. There's trees here, of course, but from the beginning of the little trail back by the parking lot, all the way here are all mounds. I think this is the biggest one here. And it's pretty big. I'd say eight feet tall, maybe, from where I'm standing. And it's pretty wide. It's got to be, I don't know, almost 30 feet across. It's pretty huge. The rest of the trail goes down to the boat landing. And I'm not going to walk that, at least not now, because it would be a, quite a hike to get back up. And with the air quality being so poor, I don't really feel like doing it today. But I am going to sit here for a little while and meditate and just kind of soak in this space. Today is day six of my trip, and uh, the last full day I'm here at Wyalusing. I'm going to go rent a kayak today and go out on the water, check out the river. I don't think I'm going to do any more painting after the last time I went out. Like, I got really beet red. I don't know if you can tell, but, like, my head is, like, just peeling all over now, and I got really sunburnt. I usually don't take my hat off like when I'm out hiking or um, doing anything like that. But when I'm painting, like it's really hard for me to wear a hat and paint. I don't know why. It's just one of those things. And so I had to take it off. And like even when I was in the shade, I, you know, I was out there for like five, six hours and I just got really burnt. So I might avoid doing that today just because like I said my my skin is already peeling up there the top of my head is the only spot that ever gets burnt and anyway so uh yeah I'm gonna go look at getting a kayak and then uh maybe do one or two trails in the afternoon like uh ones that I haven't gone on yet but I've gone through pretty much every one that I wanted to do but I'll go and check out a couple of the other ones too. So on the last night here, uh, let's take a look at where I went. Started off, well, here is where I'm camping on the north end. And the first time I hiked, I went down here and I went over here and then I got on this trail and went down here through there, there and there. 
turn there all the way to Henniger Point picnic area. Then I hiked all the way back. And then when I got back here, though, I went down this way and then went over here to this cave. I couldn't find where it looped around, so I went back, went down this way, went all the way down to here, down to the boat landing there. Then I hiked all the way back up this way, all the way back up to here, and all the way back to the campground. Then I also went and hiked the sand cave. I went and did this. Went all the way around over here, and then back this way, and then back. That trail was pretty cool. Then I did the bluff trail. I went over here, and then down this way, and I went all the way down here, and then all the way down there. And then I went to here, and then I went around the mounds here. And then from there, I took the road back to where I parked up here. I parked up here and oh yeah, and I walked through the campground to get over to there. And over here is where I saw the fireflies on the prairie trail. I just went up there and then went back. Let's see, where else did I hike? The last hikes that I did, or the last thing I did, like I did today, was the crazy kayak trip. I went down here, put in a kayak, I went through here kayaked all through here I went all through here I went all the way down here and right around here it started getting like really um shallow so I had to like walk a lot of it and I was getting stuck in the mud and I was getting frustrated and I came down here and I was like okay I'm gonna turn around I turned around when I came back around here I kind of got lost and I think I went through here somewhere and then like walked somewhere over there I'm not really sure exactly where I went but somehow I ended up in the Mississippi here. And then I went all the way. To, well, actually, I went across here first because I wasn't sure where I was. Asked, like, these guys in a boat, hey, where am I? Where is the boat landing? They're like, oh, yeah, it's way over there. You got to go all the way down here. So I paddled all the way down there, and I paddled all the way back up here, all the way to the boat landing. I probably paddled, like, she's worth, like, if that's a half mile, so one, two, three, four, five. It's got to be at least like six or seven miles that I paddled, maybe even more. Then after that, I went and did my last hike here. And I took the old wagon trail and then went up here and then went back here. And then I hiked through the campground back to there. And then this is where I parked here. Didn't get to go on this trail or on this trail but or on this one but the, this looks more like a bike trail it would be more interesting to be on a bike there and then this trail just kind of one goes through the prairie it looks like i'm not really sure so i might have missed something cool over there so all in all it was a pretty good trip i would say that wyalusing is an amazing state park there's a lot to do here as you can see i didn't even get to everything i tried to do as much as i could to the detriment of my body, like I uh, think I've hiked at least like 40 miles in five days or six days. And then I paddled like all of this. So I'm pretty sore today, but, and I've definitely got like some sunburn. And then the one day when I painted, you know, I painted here, it was pretty cool. Definitely would like to bring a bike up here though and do like these trails one of these days, but. I would highly recommend coming to this park if you're looking for a good place in Wisconsin to come and camp. So it's my last night here at Wyalusing. I'm getting ready to leave in the morning. I'm just going to pack up and go. I'm not going to do a little update or do anything else here in the park. I feel like I've done pretty much all you can do except for a couple trails. Uh, it's a beautiful park though. I loved being here. So for the rest of the night, I'm just going to make a little fire and burn up the rest of the wood that I have here, play a little bit of Tears of the Kingdom, and just relax. But please let me know if you liked the video. If there's parts of it you didn't like, please let me know as well. This is the first time I've ever done these, and I'm planning on doing 17 more because there's 17 more state parks that I'm going to over the next two months. So I'd really love some feedback. I know this one is pretty long, 
it's probably going to be the longest video out of all of them um, just because it's the longest stay there's only one other place that i'm staying six days at so most of the other parks that i'm going to be in i'm only going to be there like three to four or five days so most of the other videos are going to be a bit shorter and you know the better i get at making these you know i can figure out what people like what people want to see what people don't want to see so please leave a comment down below and let me know like what your favorite parts and what kind of parts you could kind of skip through and do without i would really love the feedback also subscribe that would be great it would be great if i could get to a thousand subscribers and actually make money doing this but that's not why i'm doing this i'm doing this more as a log just for myself but i figured why not put it out there as well and see if other people like it so thanks again for watching if you made it all the way through i hope you have a great day and the next video i'm heading out to yellowstone lake state park and i'm only going to be there for two nights so like two two nights and three days so that video is going to be quite a bit shorter than this one so i'll see you next time